I'm Ken Miller, Vice President of Research Product Marketing at Thermo Fisher Scientific. It was 2005, and approximately a month before ASMS, we received two boxes at the back of the building in San Jose, and uh, we were told that they contained Orbi traps. And we were somewhat skeptical because we'd heard a lot about Orbi traps, but it was kind of like the holy grail of mass spectrometry. We didn't actually expect it uh, to arrive or to appear, but lo and behold, we took them out of the boxes, we plugged them into the wall, we set them up and got them running, and uh, pretty much magic occurred. It was really incredible. From the first second we saw the data coming off the instruments, we realized that the Orbi trap had the potential to really revolutionize the way that uh, certainly proteomics, but also small molecule uh, research was done. Um, the device was incredible in terms of delivering uh, amazing resolution, amazing mass accuracy, and a scan speed that was sufficient to track and monitor uh, routine LCMS runs. So it was really an incredible device, and we realized it pretty much at the first instant. So when we first launched the Orbitrap, the, the response was, I think, somewhat skeptical because it almost sounded too good to be true. But as soon as customers were able to sit down in front of the instrument, run their samples, and the more data that got out there, uh, the more I think everybody realized that uh, the Orbit Trap was for real and it was a, an incredible step forward. We began with a device, it was a, a hybrid device, um, it was large, it was floor standing and I think over time um, we've been able to improve the technical performance of the Orbit Trap itself uh, so the actual physical Orbit Trap in a device like this is very different uh, than the one that we launched in the original system. So uh, this one has incredible a resolution, um, it's much faster scanning, uh, the mass accuracy is every bit as good. Uh, this is our Orbitrap Fusion, it's our flagship high performance, very versatile uh, system for high-end research, but we also have a benchtop uh, QExactive system. Uh, so we've been able to, I think, uh, decrease the size, uh, decrease the cost, and uh, increase the performance of the system, and that's a trend that I expect to continue into the future. I don't think any of us imagined uh, that that the Orbit Trap would go quite so far uh, so fast. So it's been 10 years now, and it's a little hard to believe um, because we've all gotten used to it. But I, I don't think that there's, there's any way that you can properly summarize or appreciate the incredible impact that the Orbit Trap has had on life science research. But I think it's also been proven to be um, incredibly effective for quantitative analysis. So in terms of quantitation, screening, or true discovery work, uh, really, it's one analyzer for all applications. Orbitrap is, is just amazing.